Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and today I'm going to show you what not to do when working on your car. So recently I was performing some routine maintenance and I made a very stupid and simple mistake that has cost me a lot of time and money to fix. I have to admit, I am embarrassed. Um, I question whether or not to make a video about this because it was so stupid, but I was so surprised at how much the fix for this mistake costs from Honda and from other mechanics that I just had to share it with you. I wanna make sure that if you're working on your car, you have the information you need, like everything here on The Lemon Factor, you have the information you need, one, to determine if working on your car is right for you, and two, if you are gonna work on your car, that you're aware of any potential lemons when it comes to working on your car. And this is absolutely the biggest lemon that I have experienced lately and have experienced with our 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. So why don't we go to the car and let me show you what I did and let me go through what my recommendations are for you so you don't make the same mistake. Okay, so what is the mistake that I made that has been so costly and time consuming for me and admittedly very stupid, something that I should have known better. But again, I wanna share it with you. So be, be sensitive with the comments below. So I was performing routine maintenance on the Honda Accord, doing something that I've done not just with the Accord, but plenty of other cars in the past, and that would be rotating the tires. And I've even done a video on rotating the tires. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. Here's a preview of it. Anyway, what I usually use to remove the lug nuts is my impact wrench. It's extremely helpful to break the lug nuts free from the hub. I also usually use the impact wrench to put the lug nuts back on. Now I do not use the impact wrench solely to put the lug nuts back on. I get them started because I don't want to over torque the lug nuts. So I'll get them started and then I'll get my torque wrench and per manufacturer's specifications, I will talk, torque down each one of the lug nuts. However, this time around, the first mistake I made was rushing it. So I was trying to quickly finish rotating the tires. When I was putting on the lug nuts, and as you can see here with the silver one, you probably see where I'm going with this, the lug nut was not properly lined up with the hub bolt. And using the impact gun, the impact wrench, I ended up stripping both the lug nut and the hub bolt. What you should do, what I will end up doing in the future, what I should have done and I should have known was to put the lug nuts on by hand, make sure they're lined up properly, tighten it by hand, sure, maybe even use you know a, a wrench to get it going, do not use an impact gun. Because it wasn't properly lined up, this has cost me a ton of money. So lesson learned, don't rush you know, the job. Lesson learned, don't use that impact gun when you're putting your lug nuts back on, or at least, at a minimum, get it on by hand and then use it. But even then, you run the risk of damage because if you over torque the lug nuts on the hub bolt, you're at risk of breaking those bolts too. I didn't break it, all I did was strip it. And in the past, not that I've actually ever done this myself, but usually you could, from behind the hub, remove this bolt and put in a new one. Not that it's overly simple, but it's usually not very expensive. These bolts are less than $2. However, because of the design of the Honda Accord, you can't remove this without removing the entire hub. And if you're gonna remove the entire hub, it is highly recommended that you replace the wheel bearing. And that's where it becomes expensive. So you have to replace the wheel bearing 
of course, the labor to remove everything just to replace this hull bolt. I'm not gonna go through the process because I didn't replace it, but I will tell you that this, not something that I personally wanted to do, I took this to my local Honda dealership. First time I've gone to this dealership since moving to Colorado, crossing my fingers that it wouldn't be too expensive. And they quoted me $1,100 to fix this. And that wasn't even the final quote. Now, needless to say, I did my research, I called around, I did get cheaper rates, so I did not spend $1,100. I was gonna replace it myself if that's how much it was going to cost. Because at least when it comes to parts, I think it was roughly $200 in parts. Luckily, based on some uh, locals recommending a couple of shops in my area, I was able to get this fixed for just under $500. But that is freaking outrageous. That is outrageous. $500 still. Now, of course, so much better than $1,100. I'm glad I found them. They did a good job. I've been driving on this. No, no issues. Knock on wood. Yeah. Um, but they didn't replace the hub. And they said, no, you don't, you don't need to replace the hub. They replaced the wheel bearing. That is highly recommended. You're in there now. Why go through all the labor if you're not gonna replace that if, if it's recommended? So I, get the, I did get the wheel bearing replaced. They didn't replace a hub, and of course they replaced the bolt all for a little under $500. Which huge, huge cost for such a stupid mistake that I made because I was trying to save time, rush the process of rotating my tires, and I inadvertently stripped the damn lug nut and bolt putting it back on. And of course, like I said, it was the last tire that I was putting on as part of the tire rotation. I'm not gonna do that again. Lesson learned. I am embarrassed and please, please be sensitive to the comments. I know it's stupid, but I wanna share it with you because if you're doing something like this, if you're working on anything, whether it's your uh, lowering springs, coilovers, your brakes, rotating your tires, and you're removing and putting your tires and rims on, please, don't make the same mistake because this may seem like a relatively easy repair, but it's not. It will be, it will cost you in the end. So take your time, learn from me, huge lemon on my part. It's been a costly lesson learned, but hopefully uh, you've learned a little something from this video. You'll be aware of the pitfalls and going forward, you won't make the same mistake that I did. So hope you enjoy the video. And that seems weird because it's at my expense. Hopefully you learned from the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for joining and until next time.